Hi, my name is Joachim and in this tutorial I will show you what you can do with TextSinker. TextSinker is a script that is basically a speech analysis engine for After Effects. You input a voice recording and its transcription and TextSinker aligns layer markers that can be used for different tasks. The speech analysis engine needs Java to be installed on your machine. TextSinker will check and see if you have the right version installed and if not, leads you to the right download page. Also, the speech analysis engine needs mono waveform audio footage to work with. So if you have something other than that, for example, MP3 or AAC, you will need to convert it using, for example, Adobe Media Encoder. If you do it yourself, for best results, we recommend using both 16-bit depth and 16 kHz sample rate. And don't forget that it has to be a mono file. We also made a media encoder template for this and put it on the product page. You can find the link in the description. Okay, so this is how the script looks like. This dropdown will display every compatible audio file inside your project. In this case, I only have this one. And in the text box below, you write or paste its transcription. So in my case, I have this audio Tonight file. Tonight is a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. And this is its transcription. Paste it in. Make sure that there is a comp active by either selecting it here, here, or here. And just click Analyze. And what it will do in the background is it will look through the words in the transcription and try to align them to the voice recording. When it's done, you get a pop-up showing you how many words it was able to discern. Um, look at this as a general quality of the analysis, so don't worry if it's not 100%, you will still get all the words from your input as markers. So now you have your layer markers. Tonight is a particular honor for me because let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. There's really not a lot of errors that can happen here, except one. And this is when the first word is not found. Because what will happen is th that it will warp and shift the whole analysis. And this is what I'd like to show you real quick. I happen to have an audio file where I know that this error occurs. It's the Declaration of Independence read by John F. Kennedy. So it's a huge audio file, more than 10 minutes. So you can, of course, imagine what kind of amount of work that will be to animate, but that's another story. Um, here's the transcription. I found it on the internet. So I paste it in there and hit analyze. And this is the error. First word not found. As, I'm, as I've mentioned, if this happens, it usually means that the alignment is a little shifted and warped. And that's why we made this custom error. So if I scrub through that and play that back for you, you should see that it really is shifted because it didn't find the first word and it takes some time to come when back on the track course again. Of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature... So around 15 seconds of the alignment is more or less wrong. And, as, and if you remember the error mes message, 
we recommend changing the first word temporarily to something similar. And that's what I'll do now. I'll change the first word from when to man. I haven't actually tested this, so let's see what happens. And you see that we got rid of the error, so that's a good sign. And there you go. This time the analysis is perfect. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with Layer markers can be used for many different tasks. I'm going to cover two possible uses in this tutorial. Maybe the most awesome use for text tinker is using it to drive the monkey scripts, most famously TypeMonkey. Now, TypeMonkey is a legendary script that creates kinetic type based on a text input. But what if you want to align the animation to voice acting, a speech, the reading of a poet, or the lyrics of a song. Text Tinker can automate this. Imagine you have this speech and you want it to create kinetic type to it. If you're familiar with TypeMonkey, you know that you would paste the transcription to the text box, make your adjustments and let the monkey create the animation. These markers right here, which determine the in point of a word, are distributed evenly along the comp, so they are not in sync with the audio. It's a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student. This is where text tinker comes into play. And it's pretty straightforward. Open the script and in this dropdown, look for your desired voice recording. Now paste the same text into the text box. And this needs to be the exact same text that you're using for the monkey. Hit analyze. And when it's done, it will give you feedback on how many words it was able to discern in the recording. Again, it doesn't have to be 100%. You will still get all the words from your input as markers. So now you have your markers. And back in TextMonkey, we need to tell it to align the animation to our markers. Fortunately, this is very easy. The only thing you need to do is check this checkbox and select the layer containing the markers. And now it will take our analysis to drive the monkey. Hit do it again. And Tonight you're is done. a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. He grew up herding goats, went to school in a tin roof shack. His father, my grandfather, was a cook, a domestic servant to the British. This of course also works with the other monkeys, Lear Monkey and Motion Monkey, if you're doing, for example, kinetic type with it. In those scripts, it's just not a checkbox, but instead a drop-down, like this. A popular use for getting the timing of words is when syncing to the lyrics of his song. Of course, also in conjunction with the monkey scripts. As the speech analysis engine will probably not be able to discern the vocals from the music, you will need a workaround. Orin Zucker, over from the monkey scripts, came up with this nice low-tech workaround for this problem 
which also applies to our script, so I'd like to share it with you. This workaround revolves around creating sort of a layout audio file. So all you will need is a microphone of some sort, plus any audio recording software, even QuickTime on Mac or Windows Sound Recorder will do. The idea is that you listen to, to your song on headphones and while you do, speak the words that you hear to a clean audio track. For this demonstration I have a royalty free track called All in a Silver Line by Status Q. Thanks for that. And as I said, I'm going to listen to it and, and I'm going to record myself speaking out the words of the song while I hear them. All that we have it held in a silver line. You keep yours and I will stay with mine. And when you're done, just export your recording to a mono waveform. Back in After Effects, use this layout audio file for the analysis. And after that's done, you can replace it with the actual song again and continue like you would normally. TextSyncer provides an automatic way to produce captions. Once you have your layer markers, go to the Captions tab. Select your desired number of characters. Now TextSyncer when creating captions will also consider breaking characters like dots, commas, etc. to provide easier to read results. With the next slider, you can control how far the script is allowed to search for these breaking characters. Tonight is a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. You can use this checkbox down here to create a text box that exactly fits the title save area of your comp. If you don't, it will instead create a point text. Before hitting create, you'll need to also select the layer containing the markers again. You'll just have to drag it on the bottom of the comp. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope this was useful and if you have any questions, there's a thread in the forums or you can also open a support ticket or however you like.